Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl. Say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name. Queen Blama. And I'm back, y'all, for another live reaction y'all know how we like to do we are back for another live reaction welcome 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 smack that likey like button on the way in hey y'all hey welcome to the video love bugs in today's video we will be reacting to YouTube's project apartment tours, you guys. Y'all know um, Peach McIntyre has been telling people to, if you live in the projects, if you live in the ghetto, if you're homeless, upload that content. Expose it to the world and you'll get views. And from what she's been saying, it's been working. I've been seeing a lot of Section 8 tours project tours, what it looks like on the inside of the housing, and the videos have a lot of views within like the first day, the video will only have like 300 views, but when you go back two days later, that video has over 50,000 views. So I've been telling myself, like, we're going to react to these videos. We're going to watch and react to these videos, and I haven't been doing it, y'all, but guess what? Today is Saturday. February the 10th, and we are going to react to some project tours. I think these videos are going to be good. Y'all hit the like button. I'm going to open up my screen share. Put it on full screen. And let's see what's going on in this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit the share button. Y'all are going to be family soon. But what's up, y'all? My name is Meek, and welcome to 34 Shades of Meek. And if you clicked on this video, that means you're trying to see what it looked like inside my place, living in the projects. Yeah, y'all trying to be all up in my business? I know. It's cool. So come on. If you want to see what it looked like inside where I live with me and my two kids, then come on. Keep watching this video. All right. And one more thing. Like y'all trying to let us all up in y'all business. I like how they start talking to the camera. You try to be no, y'all try to let us all up in y'all business. Um, this is not something I recommend, but if that's what y'all want to do, then go ahead and do it. But as soon as the other shoe comes down and people start giving their honest opinion of whatever they're thinking, people get an attitude. These same content creators get an attitude and say y'all on my business and y'all in my business okay just a, that's just a, a warning to anybody else thinking about it okay like comment and subscribe because this ain't gonna be the last you're gonna see me okay all right now this is the back door that leads to the patio area. So we don't really use this door. This door is only used in the summertime mainly. If we wanna go sit in the back at the patio, if I'm barbecuing or something like that. This is the patio area. I'm not gonna show y'all too much, but it's big enough to put a patio table chair, barbecue grill and you know, over here is the first pantry. This is the pantry. It's now I don't like videos like this. Um, you see, it was no point in showing the backyard if you weren't actually going to show the backyard. She showed us the concrete block. Okay. And now 
she's showing us an up close view of a closet. Like you can't, we're not seeing nothing. We're not seeing anything, sis. Pull the camera back some. But I get it because they don't want people all up in their business. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't know if we're going to enjoy this video. Got a nice amount of shelves to store things. I usually put like our garbage bags, little stuff like that. You know, storage stuff for extra space where I don't want to have it in the cabinets. And then I use it for my broom, dustpan, mop, all that. So we have that space. I do love that about this kitchen. It has two pantries, and that is the first one. Over here, we have our apartment size refrigerator. Yes, it is white. <laughs> we don't have no stainless steel up in here. You know, I really don't care. A refrigerator is a refrigerator. I know one day, if I want to, I can get to that point. But right now, this is what it is, and I appreciate it. White refrigerator black refrigerator, stainless steel, a refrigerator. That refrigerator is a refrigerator child and that thing um, keep the food cold, <clears throat> for real. Y'all in this white refrigerator stuff is hilarious. That refrigerator keeps the food cold, y'all. It is a refrigerator, okay. And then we have our stove, electric stove. Now you see these black steel bowls. I remember when I bought these, because originally it didn't come with this. It came with the same color as that, um, like a little stainless steel material. Some of y'all may know what I'm talking about. And it gets, it has this dirty look to it. And it's just like, uh. So when I bought these black ones, just to make it look better, the lady in Target, I think it was Target, the lady was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they still made these. Like, wow. Yes, they do. For these type of stoves but listen this is an old school <laughs> why would the lady in target say that those things are all in target they all in walmart those things are all everywhere girl child child people be saying some crazy stuff so but it gets the job done and that's what cooks it cooks the food, food. <laughs> <laughs> and i cook it well okay Anyway, so these are the cabinets. I feel like, you know, this kitchen has a nice amount of cabinet space. I can't complain at all. We have the blower, you know, where when you turn that on, it blows so it can, the ventilation for circulation. I said circulation. Space. I have a nice amount of space, cabinet space, like counter space. Yes, I have my air fryer over here. I have my magic bullet over here. Now, y'all don't see my microwave because my microwave is over there. I like it over there on that microwave cart because it gives me more space on my counter for when I'm cooking and everything. Because if I had it up here, it would take away you know, mm -hmm. space for cooking and cutting and all that stuff. So I... And it'll make it look more cluttered. Sis, y'all, the video needs to be zoomed out some. She got it. It just zoomed in too far. I'm perfectly fine with it there. Now over here we have a dishwasher. Now I can count on one hand how many times we use this. Because to be honest, I really don't trust the dishwasher that much. Mm -hmm. So I really have to not be feeling up to it if I'm going to use this dishwasher. I'd rather wash it in the sink, you know. Oh, yeah. Sink is clean. Everything is clean. Okay. Now on to the second pantry. This is the second pantry. You know. Store what you need to store in there. But yeah, this is the pantry. Now, listen, we already know about this. Y'all already know what this is, okay? If you know, you know. You're not black if you don't know about the store bag. Yeah, we're going to keep us some over here, okay? We're going to keep us some. <laughs> now, this is the 
kitchen that y'all saw, you know, the space y'all saw so far. Like I said, this is my microwave cart. Is is it's been used okay i had it for a while but it gets the job done okay i like keeping my microwave over there now over here we have oh, our laundry under area. Area. okay this is the area where we wash all right and right. these washer this washer and dryer is old and get it done but hey it gets the job done i am the type of person i'm not gonna complain because you know i'm humble and everything is not always permanent okay but let's get into this so i use this rack sometimes when i want to dry things that i don't want to put in the dryer i will hang them up here and while that laundry is drying this will dry once these doors are closed that stuff will be dry by time by the time this cycle is done so i love doing that and that's an example of something that i dried hanging up but yeah i love it it's spacious you know enough where i can hang up some stuff. i like it too i thought that was like the hot water tank room or something the, the the washer and dryer is off in there y'all okay i like it i like it a lot things but that is the laundry area i'm trying to not make this video too long but that is the windows that lead to the back so we have the two windows in the kitchen and this is the kitchen now right here we have the hot water thing okay the utility closet nothing major you know furnace everything this is off limits because it's a safety hazard but yeah this is in the kitchen as well now we are headed to the living room first off i'm gonna show you guys the closet this is where we put our coats and shoes and everything you know nothing special but this is that closet i'm gonna turn this light off and over here we have the kids play area a computer desk computer nook area whatever you want to call Look it at that. i would love to decorate this area but my son this is where he loves to play with his legos and build when he's in the living room so uh -huh. that's kind of like his little space but one day i guess i will decorate it <laughs> if i ever get to that point but yeah for now that is that area i mean i'd rather him play up in that area with his legos and have it all over the floor so that's that area I like that this little bitty area. My TV and my electric fireplace. I love this electric fireplace. It makes it so cozy at night. Now, y'all, this TV, y'all see it? It's sitting on the wall, but it don't work. What? It went out a few months back, and I just haven't had the chance to take it down. But I got some years out of this TV. When I say a lot of years, so I can't complain. I'm not I'm not mad. But we don't really chill in here that much because the yeah. TV doesn't work. So I'm able to have my living room intact. And there go my baby boy right there. So look at her front room, y'all. My couch set, the way yeah. the clothes and everything coordinates the decorations. I don't have I love it. Um, I have told y'all from the beginning of time, from the beginning of time, my OG always said, just because you live from the projects, don't mean you got to look like you live in the projects. You understand? Just because you live in the projects, don't mean you got to look like you live in the projects. I love it. A clean house, girl, I love it. have many pictures up sometimes me and i go back and forth with decorating here i don't know like i'm undecided a lot of times but this is the living room i got my few pictures here i did have pictures over there when i had my living room switched around but i i have a tendency of taking stuff down changing it a lot like 
I don't know. I don't like stuff sitting in the same place for too long. So that's why it's barely any pictures because I switched mm -hmm. my living room around so much. I like so we it. got the body mirror here. Now, right here, this is an open space and you see the kitchen on the other side. I love this part of the living room slash the kitchen on the other side because it gives it like an open concept. Mm -hmm. So if I had company or yeah. just the kids, they chill in the living room and I'm cooking, we can, you know, conversate and kiki and you know what I'm saying? And we just vibing together and it's not feeling like, oh, this big wall is blocking everything. Yeah, that's So it wonderful. gives it an open concept and everything. So yeah, I do love that part. Y'all, I am so like, I feel like you make a place a home by the way you bring it peace, the way you put it together, decorate. You can make anything a home, okay? It's not where you live. It's how you live, okay? So that is that. Now we're going to come over here. And I got this mirror. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> over here we have more space in the living room like this living room is a nice size y'all i'm not gonna hold you it's a nice size we got our baby over there i had to cover his crate because he will be barking knowing that i'm trying to do this video he just will want attention on him so yeah i got my money tree over here i know y'all ain't asked to see all that but yeah <laughs> i love my living room like this is one of my favorite space it looks so cozy space. Okay, now over here we have our security the front thing. door. Now this is our main entryway. This is the front door. You what y'all know about them? <laughs> <laughs> what y'all know about the door stopper? Yo, I haven't seen one of those since man back in the day. Y'all already know in the projects you had to block them doors. Child, we used to put sticks in the patio door, them up to the front door, back door. Hey, yo, love it. it. It takes me back. It makes me miss the good old days. Oh, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> you, if you don't know, you listen. If you know, you know. Okay water still sitting there from when we went to the grocery store tell me tell me something okay i'm just checking just hell no continue on with the video now we're going upstairs <laughs> i got my artificial plants i got another mirror because i just love mirrors in the house just make it look so pretty now this is the hallway upstairs okay i have a closet the light so this is our linen closet. I try to keep as neat as I, I can. This is our hair care products on both of these shelves. We have our towels. Listen, you always want to have some clean towels and washcloths. You never know who's going to spend a night and they need uh -huh. a towel and a washcloth. Like, I cannot stand going to somebody's house and they don't have I don't know who living like that. <laughs> I don't know who's living like that. Um, if you don't have multiple clean wash towels and dry towels and sheets and blankets and um, pillowcases in your home, something ain't right. Like you better be an 18 year old and this is your first place because sis and bro, what you doing? Like, girl, bye. I'll be a child. I have no clean towels, washcloths, linen. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so that's that. Now let's go to baby boy's room. This is my son's room. Now, this room is not the biggest, but listen, it's a room. It's cozy. It's comfortable. You can't complain, okay? But he has his space. And this is, too, why he plays downstairs sometimes because, you know, he don't have that much space. That's because he got this big, comfy, big, comfy queen-size bed, yes. So, 
my son doesn't have a TV in his room because I try to cut out screen time as much as I can. So he'll, you know, do work in his school computer. My cousin is just like this, I swear. <laughs> I promise my cousin is exactly like this. She don't have TVs in the bedrooms. And I forgot that she did that until this lady just said it. Computer and all that. I said, you know, maybe when he gets a little bit older, I might do a TV, but for now, I don't want to start that because when you have a TV in your child's room, that's all they want to do. So yeah, but yeah, he has his bookshelf. He has enough space for what he needs it for. This is his closet. Nothing major. I got his, I have his um dresser inside the closet. Safe space. So, yep. Yeah. The lighting is not the best. I am so sorry. But yeah, this is his room. Sorry, y'all. He has his desk, his basketball hoop. He has his... He don't have that much space in here because this bed is taking up so much space. He had a twin bed and he had much like more space, but it is what it is. But it's still cozy and comfortable. So that's his room. Now this right here, this is my daughter's room and I'm going to respect her privacy and not show that room. But okay. if y'all stay tuned and y'all want an updated house tour, then we will probably show baby girl's room. But right now we're not. This right here is our bathroom. I am going to turn on my light. This is the bathroom. Yeah. Not not real big, but you know, it's cozy. I like it because sometimes the smaller stuff is the more cozier and the more it feels like home. So I like it. I like it, y'all. Comfortable. Ah. Try to keep it clean. You know, this is my baby girl, she used this bathroom, so mm -hmm. that's that. Then okay, so this is the hall right here this is the hall and down here <laughs> just playing this is my bedroom this is my bedroom my son must have went and opened up the blind a little bit but this is my space yes so i love my room now when i say this is a lived in town home okay i live in here okay so it's not perfect but it's so cozy and comfortable just like i like it this is my bed of course everything is clean i don't know why i expected her room to be more Mwah. it's so dark in there it's so <laughs> Her room reminds me of coffee. For so, it, it, the color is so dark in there, and just but um, what the heck? It's like a like a, a comfortable dungeon. I don't, I don't know why I expected her room to be more. Oh la la, more like I, I don't know, y'all, but <laughs> child. Her room is very plain. Y'all, no roaches, okay? No roaches. Did she say roaches? I love this, like, cozy space. This is what I call it. That picture, I definitely want to put it on the wall. I had it hanging up for a while, but like I said, I like to change my space. Usually my bed is here, and then my dresser is there. Now, this dresser, the drawers are all off track, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's why I look like that. I want to throw this out so I can have more space in here. But for now, it's here and it's holding my TV up. But yeah, this is my room. Now, I know this ain't part of the video, but y'all, this book here, if y'all haven't read it, y'all got to get into it. Like, this is a beautiful book by Joyce Meyer. 
authentically uniquely you i've been reading that and i'm loving it now this is my bathroom okay this is my bathroom yeah my shower and tub behind the curtain you know it's not big but it's 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 just right for me mm -hmm, girl it's enough yes yeah, i love having my bathroom in my room you know my little private space but yeah that's in my bathroom i'm gonna turn the light off and then over here she good with turning the lights off, y'all. It would have been lights on all throughout the house by now because I would have just been leaving them all on. We have a closet. Now, y'all. It's a baked up closet? Don't all that up there. I'm trying to do some organizing around here. Oh, but look. I turned my closet into, an into office. a prayer closet. I'm still trying to get it together. I'm going on. Oh, not look much. at that. I don't mind that. I got it. My door, look, my door, my bathroom door, if y'all didn't notice, it was squeaking. So I got this WD 40 here. Yeah. But yeah, unorganized everything, you know. I like that. Space. But I love this. I can just close it. Uh, look. Girl, I like I her little closet. Close it up. Private little space. But yeah, this is my room. Like I said, this. We live up in here, okay? So everything ain't going to be in place and perfect. Everything is not going to be perfect, but it is our home. And I am so grateful and thankful. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Listen, don't let nobody ever make you feel no type of way because you live in income based. Okay, y'all. I told y'all this was going to be a good video. I just felt like I was going to enjoy this video, and I really did. Y'all smack the likey like button on the way out. I will talk to y'all in the next Project Section 8 Apartment Tour reaction video. Bye, y'all.